What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome back to more EU4 as Bohemia. We are at a good point in the game here. We have basically consolidated an entire Eastern block of power, and we've kind of gotten rid of our coalition that we faced from doing that. Load up the game today, and the coalition immediately disbanded because uh, the AI recalculates their stances whenever the game loads up. So we no longer have a coalition. We have people who would be willing to join, and we have a truce with the Ottomans that goes until 1543, which is the next time we want to attack them. Now, because the mission tree for Bohemia sucks, uh, we didn't get permanent claims against the Turks um, whenever we got this mission here. It just was normal claims. So now we have lost all of our claims on the Ottoman lands here, and we're going to need to get our claims back to go and take their lands in our next war in four, 18, uh, 1543, is when we'll be declaring that war. But I decided to start the video a little bit early here, because we have a Imperial incident that will get Poland into the Empire as a nation. So we're going to see how that shapes out. Uh, I've also been thinking about how, what I want to do with the rest of the series. I'm thinking we might go for dismantling the HRE. I'm looking at the achievements that I have left in uh, uh, the list here. And there's two that involve the HRE. One is Voltaire's Nightmare, which is to have at least 100 countries in the HRE. And the other one is to dismantle the HRE. And now I think, I think I don't have the achievement for doing Austria's entire mission tree. And if I want to do that later... Um, that's probably when we'll do Voltaire's Nightmare, because, of course, Austria being the Emperor, you get incentivized to do a lot of stuff there. So we're going to try to dismantle the HRE. We're still going to go to the Religious War. I think we'll fight that out to get our mission done. We'll win the Religious War, and then we'll spend it like, oh, we can't stay together, whatever, if you want to, like, RP it. Uh, but we are going to go for the dismantle, and I think our focus after that will be getting to England. But in order to get to England, we need boats. In fact, let me think about it. Can I... Scotland has a little bit too much development, but they are close to being our like a willing subject here. What development are you kicking right now, Scotland? Let me look here. Let's go sort by country. Let's look at Scotland here. 117. So if you have one more war with England, you would fall out, and then I could probably vassalize you. Let's see if that happens. We just need a weak France to kind of make a mistake and Scotland will get jumped on. So let's see. I would love to do that peacefully, but for now, I'm going to wait until our Truce of the Ottomans is up and then I'll bring you guys back and we can do another big war with the Turks. Real quick, we're a couple months away from our Truce with the Ottomans here and Poland is now a member of the HRE. So if we look and see it, there's Poland. The HRE has expanded, uh, which kind of goes against the threat of me disbanding HRE, but that's neither here nor there. We'll still deal with it. Oh, it's time to bring our armies over to the front with the Ottomans. You can see they are actually fighting the Mamluks right now. They are winning. Um, so we kind of want to fight this before they get Mamluks as an A-lit, and we can actually help the Mamluks here uh, for once in their pathetic lives. We'll assist the people in Cairo. I still have some uh, enmity with them from our uh, mini game we did. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go and get our armies to the front here. I will take tech a little bit early for all three types, just so I can have a better military in, because we have a crazy amount of uh, Monarch points, because we have level 5 advisors, advisors and all of our different stuff. We are pretty much capped out on the reductions to advisor costs. You can see it's at negative 90 there. I don't think you can bring it up any higher. I'm trying to see if that math actually goes above 90, but we're paying the bare minimum. That's 15 Monarch points for 10 ducats a month. That's crazy. And that's, in fact, I could probably change out. Is there anything I want more than? Let's see, if I turn that out and I go to, how much does it cost? An extra two ducats a month. So we currently make, we would make 20 if I had that on. And if I instead go and put production efficiency plus 10%, let's see how that changes. A little bit less. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. We'll keep uh, we'll keep the production efficiency on. I just like that as a modifier better than the other ones. I want to get this last claim. We're going to still take all the land. We're not going to just abide by the claims that we have. Uh, we'll take as much as we can. Um, but it is always good to get as many claims as possible because it saves you our points, which is important to me. Okay. Do we want to take this for ourselves? I could, I could be swayed to release Byzantium, right? Let me think about... Let me actually think about that. If I did this, Byzantium still have claims on all of this. They do. Let's release Byzantium. They're going to be Orthodox and Greek. We are going to stop that. 
enforce, come to our religion, become my guy, uh, and divert, well, don't divert trade. Actually, divert trade, and we're just going to placate rebel rulers once there. We are going to be over our relationship limit. That is fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to do this and get the reconquest instead, which will save us a ton here. Um, do you not actually have a claim on Constantinople? You don't. Wow. Thought you would have that. That's weird that they lost the claim on Constantinople. We're going to have uh, Gallipoli, or as this is called, Gallipoli, as our one. We're going to call in Spain here, and I think that's good. Taffy Law will be dealt with Spain. Kiva is not a factor. Let's pull back the one that we have targeting Outraged. They are no longer needed. Let's have one improve with our subjects. We do have one with the subjects already. All right. That should be all good. Go for Gallipoli. We'll go down to speed four, and here we go with war. They don't have a fort in Constantinople. That's interesting. And we've already crossed the straits. Okay, this is just a good start to the war. Uh, that should be a pretty deceased audience. These guys didn't get called in. What the hell? Come in. Okay, looks like we've weakened the Ottomans enough to where we don't have to matter. What are we going to take here? I want to get all the stuff to... Um, turn it to... Sort by giver. Okay, that's not, not what I want to do. Sort by... Uh, which kind of do it by name? And then just go through and get all the Byzantium ones. Could free Crimea too. Or help out the Mamluks, but we don't need to do that. Let's just see. How much is it to take all of them? So 55 to take basically all their stuff. And then if I want to just do like, you know, give me all the other things that are around here. Claims be damned. We'll leave these two here because maybe these guys will get disloyal. Yeah, if we get them really low, there's a chance those get uh, rebel pops there and we can free Bosnia. But Bosnia's going to try to siege us because we have some of the Bosnian land, right? Yeah. Hmm, not... Probably won't work, but that's fine. We'll just take all of Greece and make sure they're basically out of Europe. We're going to go take Kokli. And I think we'll be fine. They have 117 troops. That's a scary number. Very scary. I need more money to build my next uh, unit there. Oh, Lithuania wants to become a member. member. Okay. Let's bring Lithuania in. Then that's it, unless we start bringing it in Hungary, too. Hungary will be next, I guess. Uh, lose money or get professionalism. How is our professionalism looking? This will get us to the next level. Return they get 250 ducats. We'll get the professionalism. Bam, so now our reserves take less damage, which will really help us in combat. That's really good late game when you have the huge battles that you have people constantly flooding in. Your reserves... Uh, play a big role there, but this should not be less important for us at this point in the game, because we, well, we'll have some battles here, especially against the odd ones that there are 120 stacks. Uh, can one of you guys deal with that? Anyway, it's, I'm going to just kind of play this out. Looks like we're going to get pretty deep into the Ottomans' territory before they even move to fight us, so we'll be uh, just kind of steamrolling, I guess, and then I'll bring you guys back if they start to make a play um, and actually want to take an engagement. Right now, they're probably vacationing in the Mambaluks land, but we're going to just kind of roll them up while they're distracted. So I'll bring you guys back once I have something to share. Real quick, we've got a battle down here in the south of Anatolia. Also, I uh, I didn't look at Byzantium's mission tree since the last uh, DLC. This thing is massive. It's crazy how deep this mission tree is. They're going to be a very important subject for us. Uh, we're probably not going to get any of the missions that have them taking, uh, like, France, uh, but... We're going to definitely feed them a lot of stuff. They're going to become a very fluent player down here in this region uh, just to get us some uh, power against the Ottomans here. The problem is, though, that that's going to take away from our naval supplies, which will be something I need to consider here. Speaking of, I need to start building out a navy. I'm going to start with some transports. I think I can pull some shenanigans with Scotland to get us Dublin. Um, I think they're still doing fine. But yeah, we can pull pull some stuff over here in order to get over there and not have to worry too much about our navy to fight England. So might be able to swing something that way. But let's go and look at this battle real quick. I'm getting distracted. Let's see. We have less morale, less tactics. 
And I think they have better discipline, too. They do have better discipline. They are just better in every front than we are, even though we have a morale of army sky. What are they using? They have full quantity and quality. We only have offensive. We'll need quality next. Yeah, they're, they're pretty... There's some tough guys right there, but we're still going to win just from overwhelming numbers. That's a three-star general with 60 stuff here. Is he coming to me? He just looks like we have the three... Issel. Issel, okay. That's going to be scary. Hopefully some of these guys in the north come over our direction. Oh, yeah, that's brutal. When do you arrive? 28th. I don't know if we'll hold that long. 4th of December. No, we did not. But here comes the numbers. Uh, we did win. Just can't see it past all the damn Monopoly stuff. Okay, that's good. Uh, I need to keep investing into our force or manpower reserves here. Anything above 250 is really good for us. Let's also make sure we are paying to keep our churches all set up. And we'll hold the rest for now. I could go and do this stuff. Alternatively, there's some sh ship limit I would love to get. What's the naval force limit? Yeah, give me some of that. I probably should core this just because we have the actual coast here. I can't because we're fighting the Ottomans. Okay, whatever. Uh, but that's a successful battle. That's going to hurt their manpower here. They have only 55k, which is the same as us. But we have numbers, and they have this guy. We're going to go kill that guy is what we'll do. Uh, but we're kind of just steamrolling them. They've gotten out of their war with the Mamelukes. Um, and this is going to really hurt them. We're going to take all Byzantium land, Constantinia. We're just going to kind of split them off, cut them in half, and leave them over in Asia Minor instead of having them over in uh, Europe. We're going to check them out of Europe is the whole goal here. Uh, I think we're at a good point. I'm going to go ahead and do a jump cut. We'll do this one battle before we jump cut. I probably should shift consolidate this army just so we have a better front line. We'll go and try to cut that guy off. I don't think we need too much here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, they might do good with the reinforcements. Okay, we barely won that. They are tough. It's a peak at the Ottomans' power right now, but by taking their land, we're going to kick down their force a little bit, so we'll get we'll get by. Got another battle here. This should be pretty brutal, because we're having uh, quite a few people come and reinforce. Yeah, that's 120k troops. We've joined our two armies together to have one big fighting force, because the Ottomans are also running around with some numbers. Uh, but we're starting to roll here. The, Pol the Polish siege down here kind of got blown up, because they went a little bit too deep. Uh, but now we have a, like a steady front just is kind of marching over here. And we have uh, Lithuania over here to save Poland up in the north. So we're just kind of kind of rolling. Don't like those pretenders. We'll go and deal with those. But I think we're getting close. Their manpower is still going up. That quantity idea is just so strong for them. And there's a loan. I hate loans. But I think we're... We've gotten too deep to really worry about it. How's this going over here with Tafiolol? We took their capital. Give me money... Uh, give me war reps, and you can keep everything else. Get you out of the war. If I did that earlier, I wouldn't have had this damn loan. And that, how's that hurting my inflation? Eh, not terrible. We'll just cut it down by a little bit. Save us three ducats a month. And I think we'll get real close. What's the the reasons they have to keep staying in here? We need Kibris without having a fort. What do we we took? We asked for Cyprus, huh? Let's not ask for Cyprus then. I don't need to try to land someone in Cyprus. Uh, we should do by name, and then I can search that way, and that's a lot easier. So with a K. Siri, yeah, there's Cyprus. Okay. Instead, we'll go ahead and grant Athens back to them. Or maybe I could do just Corfu. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll take Athens. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we'll just take some money. Yeah, that's going to be our peace deal here. So some big stuff just happened. Um, our ruler died and we inherited Burgundy. Uh, so this is now, we now own the low countries <laughs> and we now have a pretty strong Navy because of that. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't actually 
want that. I liked having Burgundy under me. But that does... We are replacing them kind of with Byzantium, so that's fine. Uh, what do we do as far as a ruler? It was a 422. That's kind of booty. There's a 266 here. Let's do with the 266. That's not terrible. Um, now we have to deal with what's going to happen to our force limit here, which is 110. We do also lose some of their claims they had on France and their mission tree, but we're going to just core all of this. Because we should make it full course. Uh, we are definitely probably over our... Or what's it called here? How do I see it? It's the building expansion. Governing capacity. Yeah, we are way over our governing capacity. Uh, can I get any more from estates? I could from the burgers. And we are building manufacturing. Okay, we're going to have to get some more from the burgers here. But we're still getting close to the war being done. Uh, that caught me off guard. We now have a lot more stuff than I really wanted to have here. Uh, we'll have to join up our military here. We also have this navy over here. We now have access to the, the English Channel, which is interesting considering... Oh, we're also just now split up like crazy, dude. We're so split up and we're not emperors. So we can't just like get over there. Okay, that's going to be annoying. We still got to get all this war, but that's fine. That fixes our over the relationship limit, limit stuff we were doing with. But that happened. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of roll with it. Now we have now we have control of the siege over here, which I did not want to have control over. And how is this? this actually isn't a terrible army. They actually just have a couple too many uh, of these. We'll send these guys out to go get... They'll do some scouting and probably get overran, but that's fine. What is this? Dutch Revolt. Shit, I forgot about that. We're not Wallonian and nor Flanders, so we're going to have to deal with that. Okay, that's fine. Um, what's our Navy force limit right now? 39 boats. What is England rep in? 64 boats. What do we have in terms of boats? We have Carracks. We actually have bona fide heavy ships. We don't need heavy ships. Not for where we're going. We have a lot of barks. That's fine. I like those. Uh, we don't have the Navy Cogs over here. These guys have Cogs. Okay. That's fine. Let me get out of this war, and then we can deal with all of the stuff going on over there. Most of we'll just leave it alone. Unless we have unrest now. No, this is all in Eastern Europe, or the Balkans. So that'll be fine. We are losing a ton of money from being over our force limit by quite a bit. Oh no, our force limit's now good. What is, what's our loss of money coming from? Is it from reinforcing our troops? 24 from reinforcing. That would, that would be it. Where's our siege guy? 422. Let's go siege this fort. We have, like, no manpower. I was hoping to use their manpower pool. Demanding roads? Oh, we asked for roads, too, I guess. Let's not demand roads. And then instead, we're going to give them... Let me get across this straight. I can get that other side of that straight crossing. We're going to be golden here. And that's a fort, too. So, still going to fight the war. That kind of gave me a pause. But we'll just kind of roll with it and see what happens. So, I'll be back. Real quick here. We're going to actually take the naval boarding doctrine. I almost never take this doctrine. Um, but by doing this, we can get the mission here to capture 20 boats with... Uh, with the doctrine active. Uh, which is something, I guess, that you can do. Um... I think this doctrine personally sucks. Unless maybe you're doing like a pirate thing. But pirates already capture so many boats just from having a pirate republic. But uh, that's the thing we're doing. We're still sieging here. Not much time has passed. We have this one siege going on over here. It looks like we have someone somewhere. What the fuck are you doing up here? Hopefully someone goes and deals with that. I might have to send uh, an army over there. How close are we with that siege falling? 136 reasons. Damn. They are so big, it takes forever to deal with them. We're going to just send... We'll send this one army back. The one we just got to go deal with them. And we're just going to march up and try to take Trebonese on. We've gone far enough south over here. Uh, I need to think about what I want to do to... Replace the loss we had there. We are a solid first place here. We've become huge. What is our ec econ economy looking like? 100 total income. That's not even a ton. Our trade income is kind of garbage. 13 trade income. We have 20% of the channel. I'm just going to make the channel our primary node. This should be better for us. 
But we are going to move to the channel whenever we get the piece. It's going to be better with 20% control there, and I can space out. The other option would be taking Constantinople. Yeah, 10 ducats is not enough. Yeah, we're going to go for the channel. Now we can get all the stuff for coming from the New World over here, which looks very Spanish. Timbuktu got big. Ooh, big Timbuktu. That's cool. Big Ethiopia. Nice. We could royal marriage you or marry you or alliance you. Do any of those things. Um, but yeah, it's still fighting. Uh, that's... I did not mean to do that, but we'll take it. And then march this guy back. Let's see how this fight goes. I don't know if I'm going to stick to the 50-year thing. I'm kind of just going to record as I go. And we'll see how long it gets. I don't want to end up because we're not even at 15 50 yet off the last one. I'm already 20 minutes in, so might uh, throw some of that away and go with smaller uh, or more small episodes just so I can build up a backlog because um, I've been very busy recently with work, so I don't have a ton of time to edit uh, and make things nice for YouTube. So might have a little bit more discombobulated videos, but that's fine. That's fine for now. This isn't like... Uh, one of my more, uh, not like one of the Vicky series where I want to put a lot of my effort in because that's where I get the most views, but I still love uh, EU4, so we're still going to record it. It's like Minecraft, what we're doing right now. It doesn't do the best, but I still enjoy playing it, so I'm just going to kind of not stress too much about um, making it the, the best format and putting a bunch of time into editing when I have uh, not a lot of time because as anyone who works uh, a 9 to 5 can attest to, it's really hard to get stuff done whenever you come back home. Spain has no air. It's only 15, though. We'll let that sit. All right, we have a lot of battles going on. We're all winning them. We're running out of manpower, which means these battles are going to get tougher and tougher as time goes on. Who the fuck is pirating over here? That's Venice pirating? Oh, he swashbuckling bastard. All right, but when we're starting to roll, well, it's not even starting. We've been rolling. That's like a buzzword for me. Uh, there's not much left to conquer here. We're just going to try to take Cyprus. We have Hungary up here. Hungary's got a pretty big force limit for only having uh, that much land. That's 43k. That's kind of impressive. Um, but I'll bring you guys back once we can maybe get a peace deal. Well, how far are we away? 122 reasons. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get them peaced out. It's going to be a matter of time. Their force limit is only 31k troops, so we're doing fine. Okay, we're getting really close to piecing out the Turks over here. It's been a slog. We're out of manpower, and our army numbers are dwindling over here. You can see I have a 40k stack troop reduced to 20k, and then this one's not doing much better. But the same is true of the Turks. Uh, they're down to two 46k troops. So that's their full army force here. We're starting to have rebellions, but of course our vassals are putting down the rebels instead of just letting them uh, ruminate and sit here. Let's take the big fleet away. If I wanted to get rid, if I wanted to get out right now, I probably could ditch the cash that we're trying to pick up here. But every siege we do, there we go, there we go. Oh, also uh, the Dutch revolt is happening. Um, so let's go ahead and peace out of this. I know we black flagged our troops here, but I want to take one of these armies and march this guy all the way around to the Dutch revolt because he's gonna need to deal with that. So we even have a bunch of separatists. Oh, yeah, a bunch of this stuff. How do we even resolve that? We'll let that sit there. Um, I want to take some lamb, but I also want to get the burgers to have... What do I get rid of for the burgers here? I'm not sure. I think maybe it have to be free enterprise. I need to... If I do this, it gets plus 10 reasons. I'm not close enough. When is this manufactory built? It's building over here, right? Okay, we'll have to wait for the manufactory, but I'm gonna go ahead and stake crown land here. This should be fine. Okay. Uh, we're out of the war. We don't have much to core. I'm gonna actually give this one province to Byzantium that we did take. Uh, take Kostin... Uh, Kokeli. That's what I want to grant. Grant province. Uh, Kokeli. Yes, take it. Congrats, Byzantium. I didn't take Athena at Athens at some point. That's crazy. Um, I thought I did. Uh, that's a mistake on my part. We're going to give you Uboia, though. Take that to you. Do you get anything for your mission tree here? We can reverse the downfall. C claims on Crete, the Aegean Archipelago, Serbia, Raskia, Recovery of Greece, you gain manpower, power projection. 
Okay, we can reinforce Constantinople. There's not many Serbians left. And you can get the Adosian walls for defensiveness. Okay. Cool. Vengeance at bar. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff here. I don't want to look at it too deep because I want to do, a, I think, a Byzantium campaign eventually. That's really gotten me uh, impressed that stuff has. So we pay some of our loans. We still have one left. That's going to be a constant pain in the butt. Uh, but I'm going to go deal with these rebels, and we're going to kind of just sit here and chill now that we've gotten a lot of progress here. Let's see if they can do their claims here. There's the recovery of Greece. What do they do? What do I need to give you that gives you claims? Shouldn't something give you a claim on this? And uh, Anatolia, Theodoro. Yeah, but you need to have Hudvin, Jigar, and Sugla. What gives you claims over there? Oh, this did, but you've already accomplished it, so you don't have the claims. We have to catch up to where your old claims are by giving you all that stuff. Okay. Repulse the Republic. Complete. Uh, you need to own Crete. You get base tax. Okay. Then Asia Minor gives you claims. Uh, oh, this is Magna Grecia. Okay, what's cool? We're just going to have to all this land of Byzantium and just keep making them big and strong here. Can I go ahead and divert trade from you? I can. I do want to mix my, my, move my trade capital over here because 18% of 40, I think, is better than a quarter. So this is like about five ducats. Um, and 18% is about nine ducats-ish over here in Den Hogs. So we'll move our our, uh, our trade port over to this province over here. And that will get us some more money, I think. Let's see. Our trade was 13 ducats. Give it a month. 16 ducats. And we can move people to make more profit here. So for instance, we can move someone to Lubeck. Um, and we can also move someone to Champagne, where we have more trade power here. Yeah. Some of this doesn't make sense, but we'll, we'll, we'll the our trade's a really weird spot. This is not a good sp space to be doing all this crazy trade stuff, but we're going to deal with that. Uh, I'm going to let my armies march back home. I'm going to deal with these rebels that are going to pop up. That's about 70 loyalists or separatists that need to be put down, and then we're going to replenish our troop numbers and look to finish off some of the other missions we have over here because we don't actually have a coalition anymore. Woo! Now, these guys are pissed, as they, they will stay pissed. Uh, but stay mad, man, Luke. Stay mad. Real quick here, we've got called into a war against Denmark to help out our ally in Sweden. Uh, Scotland is also on our side. Um, and I'm making some plans for what I want to do next. Right now, we don't have a too big of a European coalition. There are some people who are a little bit mad at us. Kof Kof Bavaria, Kof Kof Austria, and Kof Kof the other North Germans here. Uh, we're going to go for Wolgast, I think. If we take Wolgast, we can finish off our Pomeranian Conquest mission tree. Uh, which gets us diplomatic annexation costs and finishes up our kind of central path here besides the one that has us fight in the Ottomans. And then we're kind of left with a very few missions to keep going here. Now, once we take Wolgast, I'm thinking about fighting France. And why, you might ask? Well, I don't have a good reason why, other than the fact that they're allied with Scotland. And if we have to fight Scotland, or I could try to attack you... Hmm, is there a way for me to get to the Isle of Man? I could no CB the Isle of Man to fight Scotland to get the Pale. I'm just thinking of ways to get there. I mean, of course I could fight France, but then you're fighting France, and that's scary. But we also have to consider we have Spain on our side, and France is just going to pull in nobody. Like, nobody we care about. Maybe we fight France. I could, I could see ourselves wanting to connect our lands here, take uh, Baroy and Verdun. Uh, is that Imperial land? I bet you that is Imperial land. Yeah, so maybe we do it as like a taking the Imperial lands off of France. That's going to be our goal here. Uh, but right away, let's get that claim on wool gas declared. We're going to actually give it to Poland. Uh, we'll call in Sweden because they're free and why not? We don't actually have to use our army for this. We can just kind of keep our, our men drilling over here. We'll pull back a little bit from Praha just because I don't want to get jumped by one of the forces here. Surely I have somewhere that has enough supply limit that I don't have to keep my army here. Yeah, let's go to Bratislav. That's behind the forts and we can just keep our drilling going on over there. Uh, you're going to stay in Constantinia. Uh, that's that's rhyming. Uh, we'll get you up to the max force limit. We're going to keep you behind here. We'll pull you back to Bruges. 
well, you're going to stay there and you're going to be in charge of dealing with the various blemish rebels that will fight up. But our, our, our uh, vassal swarm should be fine to deal with all these guys. We got a claim on Baroy. Yeah, there we go. That's one of the ones I wanted to get here. So we're going to start getting claims on France. And they'll be the next one that we fight after this war is cleaned up. And we'll use that in order to make a claim on Scotland and knock out that one other Bohemian specific mission tree. And then it's a big question of where we go, right? Not a ton of stuff we can do. Um, we do want to dismantle the HRE. That'll probably be the last thing. It always feels bad to dismantle the HRE when you are a European power. That, like, is part of the HRE. Like, you lose so much of your own strength. But I'm going to do it just so I get the achievement done. And then I think that'll be our stopping point is when we dismantle here. So maybe one or two episodes. And then maybe I do a Byzantium campaign. I just, I really like that mission tree that I saw. And I love playing as Byzantium. Let's see. I'll think about it. I'm also, I'm also getting the itch to go play Vicky. So there's a lot of different stuff I could do. But I'm going to fight this war and I'll bring you guys back afterwards. All right. We've just gotten out of the war uh, with... Uh, Denmark here. You can see Sweden took a bunch of their land over there. But we also got ourselves the province of Slupsk. We're going to go and take our mission here. Pomeranian Conquest gets us some admin points. And better off, it gets us towards Bohemian Commonwealth, giving us minus 50% Diplo annexation costs. So we are now down with our middle tree here. Um, and now we're just kind of waiting. We need to become the emperor to do the right tree. And then we also need to unlock cathedrals to do this tree here. Do we have cathedrals? I could maybe build one if we have them, but that's tech 19. So going to be a little bit until we can get cathedral and or a university. University is a little bit sooner, though. It's still tech 17. You know, we've got a little bit of ways to go before we can go down that bottom left tree there. But the top one here requires us to do the... Uh, religious wars and this one requires us to have the strongest trade power in the english channel which is going to take a little bit i uh, will fight england there but now we're, we're just recovering our manpower um, our next big fight is going to be against the french and or if we have something happen with the religious wars starting i might do those um, and do just a really quick blitz against austria uh, before a bunch of people can join because i don't want to deal with france spain and who not but i can just take austria and their uh, paltry list of allies pretty soon so no, no worries there um, we're just going to recover our manpower. Let me give this province to Poland, and I'll bring you guys back once it's time for us to do our next war. This is Slupsk. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. All right, we have the religious leagues forming. And so I'm just not even going to wait. We're just going to clear immediately. It's the League War! But it's just me. There is one person in the Protestant League. Um, I did this because we just want to get this done before people join. I'm worried about people like Spain and France joining the League War, which is why I want to just do it. Because I know we can beat Austria straight up in a 1v1. So this will uh, just make us win this fast. Um, let's get our people involved here. The people who are in this. How many of them are not? For instance, we just make you. Let's say, for instance, um, Religious Supremacy. I want all your money. In fact, I actually want you to just release some nations here. Let them be free. That is what we're going to do. We're going to fight this war. Uh, should be a stomp. I don't think uh, the 36 Austrian troops can stand up to our, our armies alone, let alone the vassal swarm that's going to be coming down on top of them. I am curious to see if other people can get involved because we just declared it immediately. Um, they might be able to finagle something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all, but uh, regardless, this should be just a real open and shut case here. I want to not lose too much manpower because right off the back of this, we're going to do our war with France. So we're just going to kind of play back and shadow some of their uh, their troops here and try to force them to take the engagements that we want them to. Like this is a really good engagement for us. We have the better men and that should be a bunch of guys gone. But we're going to keep doing this. And I will bring you guys. Ugh. Yeah. But we are going to keep doing this, and we're going to just kind of let the AI fight this war for us. You know, leave it to the AI to always go and prioritize the most, like, distant and useless stuff. They're just marching over here into the lowlands while their capital's getting full sieged. You have Byzantium running amok, and they're just trying to siege stuff with just, like, a one, one little army here. So, you know, they're not doing the, the best moves here. Not the best uh, tacticians, so to speak. I'm going to actually pull one of my armies up back here and just have him drill. I don't need to have 80k troops available here. My two armies alone just 
out, outbeat this entire force here, let alone the Vassal Swarm, so... And plus we have uh, Byzantium, our March now. I've converted them to a March. Don't remember if I mentioned that or not. Uh, here to save the day and run stuff over. Uh, can I bring this six three-star general over here and stop the siege? I would love to do that. 21%. Let's see. Does he get here in time? We do have 25 from Lithuania. We could probably take the fight. We'll give it one more siege. Tick. And then they're... Okay, we're definitely going to catch them now. What is this? Uh, expand... Yeah, get... Sure. Get a uh, conscription camp, wherever this is. Uh, regimental camp. But that should be open and shut here. Let's go ahead and take the fight before the army gets there. When do you arrive? 12th of February. We can wait a little bit. 16th of February. When does the siege finish? Nine days. We'll do it. Take the fight. That's a good fight. Army dead. And... Yeah, this, this war is basically over. So let's just let the AI carpet siege. We'll keep fighting these small little armies here, and I'll bring you guys back once we can start uh, piecing out some of the people. So, real open and shut real just war. Don't want to get too many outside forces involved. I know the Ottomans, I know France, I know some of these other guys would want to get involved if they had the chance to, and we're just not going to give them that opportunity and get this done before they can uh, stab me in the back. Okay, at this point in time, we can say that we have beaten Austria. Basically, um... They're, they're gone. <laughs> I don't know how to... I'm, I'm getting distracted here by trying to pick my advisor. Uh, one that actually has an accepted culture, please. There we go. We'll do the... We'll do the reinforced speed guy. Um, but anyways, we've beaten Austria to the point they are no longer... There's only a couple people left, and they're all being full siege. The last army's getting kind of destroyed. Uh, 162 to 8k. Um, yeah, there, there goes the army. They don't think they have any troops left. Yep, they're all gone. And we've kind of broken off every single person that, that is not involved in the war here. Um, Venice is also fighting Austria. They're being opportunistic, the bastards. Uh, I think we can get uh, the Papal States out. Let's get the Papal State out. They are gone. Uh, we have one army drilling here, one army over here, other army drilling over there. Baden, uh, you have nothing left. Let's get a day. Uh, what I want to do to you, we're going to take all your money, take your funds. You're already our religion, so that's all fine. Bing, bang, bosh. And then we have the Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine, we need to wait for the siege to finish. I have a better siege general. No, they're all the same siege general. Uh, Lorraine, we're going to break off Trier. Now, let's go deal with those pretenders. I do not want to lose a PU at this point. I also think we are coming up on our war with the Ottomans somewhat soon. I have all my claims. Byzantium has some claims. Okay, Byzantium, look at you getting your claims. I'm happy with that. Um, then we also can get some claims on France. In fact, I need to do that now because we lost our spy network with them. So I can only do one. Great. Great. Um, but this is going to make us emperor, I think. We should be. Should do. Uh, get you out. We have an heir. If I'd say we do this. Push you for money. We're releasing your nation. Styria should be free. Uh, I can't. I could force religion here. If I didn't do... Oh, no, it's not going to be doable, is it? Damn. Okay, so release Styria. And we'll just punch you for money because I can't force your religion here. We'll get you We'll get you next time. We'll get you next time. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll back off a little bit to get the war reps. Even though you are going to lose some from um, Venice as well. It's a shame we can't force your religion. Wait a day. Peace deal. All right. Who is the emperor? We are the emperor. Huzzah! We can expand the empire. We are victorious. Long live the Protestant League. We will get bonus diplo rep. We will get bonus diplomat. We will get diplomatic rep. We do not have perpetual diets. So nothing's going to happen there. Um, but now, we're powerful. More so than we were in the past. Man, let's take all of our stuff we have and let's... Add it. Actually, what's the what's the right way to do this to where it gives me... There's a certain way to add things where you actually get Imperial Authority from it. All right, is it by this button? Okay, no, that did not give me Imperial Authority. If I do this thing, it gives me Authority. There's some way to add things. Yeah, 18 Authority by adding our stuff. The Antium has joined the Empire. Hungary's not in there yet. Is there anyone I can just invite to the Empire? I'm curious. 
Uh, a bunch of people I can... Okay, first things first. I need to grant electorates to people. Can I do my subjects? I said subject. Fuck, okay. Who do I think will like me? Uh, let's do Woolgast. They're close enough. Get it to Woolgast. Let's do it to On Halt. And we'll do it to... Who is over here? We'll do it to Lubeck. Have those North German electorates. And do another one. Okay, we're all good there. Now, as far as religious unity, and inviting the Empire, Hungary would join. Can't do Hungary. Oh, 200 to Gotland and Urbino. Um, they need to like us more, I guess. Okay, a Jam. What about uh, a forced religious unity? Let's do Styria. It does cost us Imperial Authority to do it. But it's going to be good for us if we can get everybody onto our religion. So we're going to just spend the Imperial Authority to do this. Get my people back. Uh, I will lose the prestige here. Or the affair. Uh, get Trier. Get Cologne. And then we'll just keep going down the list here. We're going to get all these guys to be our subjects, or be our religious unity. The same religion. God, I can't speak. And then if we don't have that, um, what do we do next? We're going to just enforce it by war, right? So we're going to get everyone to our religion. You can see we're going to get our authority back. We're voting for ourselves. We are guaranteed that we're going to win just by who all, um, by the people we've impressed. You have the Saxony, we have Brandenburg, and I think we have as well, um, we'll just, and us, because that's three. That's three out of, what, seven there? So we'll get one more and we're guaranteed to win it. We're dominant now. We should have the triggered modifier modifier for the Protestant Empire soon. Gives us tolerance, true faith, irregenacy, and imperial growth uh, modifier by 25%. That's all great. Let's get us this. It's gonna, we'll do probably the, um, sure, let's get a dry dock in Picardy. Get that dry dock. Sure. See some land here. Everyone's happy. What else can we do? Cathedral and church we can't do. Defend the empire. Okay, I can defend the empire. Who has stuff that's not the empire? Okay, so Tuscany and France. Okay, and this is owned by Denmark. Okay, a lot of a lot of stuff I need to fix. So let me take stock. Let's get our, our manpower up. Our manpower is now 164k as a cap. And next on our chopping block is going to be France. We will deal with them. Uh, probably build another army over here, I think. Probably, yeah, a couple armies. We're going to deal with France. Going to get the pale. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. So we'll have to take it by ear once we get there. But a couple more wars left, and then we'll get our uh, all of our Bohemian-related achievements out of the way. So that's cool. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, real quick. We got to join a coalition against Venice. They messed up. They took a lot of land. They took a, a ton of stuff um, up in here. They took some from uh, different people. And uh, they got a coalition against them, which we could do something with. Um, but we got the achievement for it, for joining a grand coalition. If I go down here to the bottom, bam, another achievement kit. That's just kind of, thank you, uh, Venice, for doing that. I appreciate you making that mistake. Uh, but instead of doing that, we're going to go ahead and fight... Uh, the Ottomans again, uh, just because we have the truce up with them. I'm, what I'm hoping is France is allied with Scotland. Scotland's heir is a Valois. And so if France gets a chance to inherit Scotland, we are their biggest rival. Right. Shouldn't we? Where, why, are we wait, 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 why are we no longer in... We are their biggest rival. And so if, if they get a chance to inherit Scotland, we should be the one they have to fight against because we are their biggest rival and we also have an interest in Scotland, so we could swing something that way and get Scotland in a PU. That, that's that's my long shot goal here. I'm trying to do with the Valois. It's a good, there's a good chance the, the Louis de Valois dies before Stuart does because he's 48, but it's just up to the dice rolls. Um, but if the Ottoman War that we're going to do fails, we will just attack France next. Um, I've also been going through and slowly converting people to Protestant. Uh, you can see we have a lot more of it. If we look at our imperial relations here. Um, here we go. The list is getting smaller. Uh, there's still some guys left up here. Uh, people like Bavaria. 
and some free cities and other things. But we're going to just slowly go down that list there uh, and get those guys to become our religion here. We could... Well, how close are we to... Dis can you lead us to the HRE if you're the... You can't dismantle the HRE if you're the Emperor. Okay. Let's, uh... Maybe we go for Vol uh, Voltaire's Nightmare? Let's think about that. We're kind of ways off from actually doing the HRE stuff. I've never done a decentralization thing for the HRE. Uh, get more free cities. That's okay. Increase the common tax to expand the Empire's capabilities in time of war. You get bonus manpower. Electric get bonus manpower. Uh, movement speed. Okay. Uh, bonus electors. Bonus imperial growth. Yearly tax. Every member is no longer accumulates aggressive expansion against the HRE when the Emperor takes non-HRE provinces. That's cool. And you can forcefully expand the HRE. Right? Compare that to over here. Where you get core creation cost, pair authority reform, pair growth modder, pair authority growth modifier. You always inherit the HRE. Um, all members of HP become our vassal. Isn't there one where you can force people into the HRE? Thought we thought there was like expand the empire one. Disallow internal wars. Mercenary doesn't matter. Permanent present for the diet. Whatever, we'll go cross that bridge when we get there. If we get there. Uh, but let's go and declare our war here against the Ottomans. Uh, we are going to do it for... What's a good claim we want to go for? We'll do my claim. Let's go for uh, Visoki. That's a fort. We'll declare for Visoki. Uh, I want Visoki. Call in Spain. Spain will deal with Tunis, Tintapulalt. Mahra is going to be no problem over there. Uh, they have a lot of people in 131, but we have now 200 force limit. Um, I have increased our size here. So let's go for Pasoki and let's get that war declared. Call in Spain. Stop the drills. And let's see how this goes. I think it will be brutal in our favor. Um, I'm hoping to get through this without having to do too much in the way of sieging myself. I'm going to keep my both my armies over here in, uh, in standby mode. And we'll just kind of see. I also want to do maybe War with Venice off the back of this. Uh, Venice, if you're unaware, has uh, things like a treaty with Spain, um, as well as... Uh... So what is the, what's the difference between this and the Imperial Ban? Conquest of Stuff... What's the difference? It's just a war goal versus a capital. Core return, 75% cost. 75% cost. I would rather do this one and just do it for Zara. Or what's the what's the one we want? So it's conquest of these four provinces. Versus doing my conquest with a coalition. Let's see. Triest, is there can I force release anything in here that would be useful for us? Not really. I'd rather just take Ragusa. Like, take these provinces we had claims on, because I got Spoleto, too. We'll see. We'll fight the Ottomans, and we'll see, because we, I'm not going to go do that war until we're good with the Ottomans. I'm kind of going crazy here, just talking about random stuff. Um, but we're going to fight this, and I'll bring you guys back once we have some big battles here. We should get some. They have 130 troops. Uh, Spain should be able to handle these guys. And we're starting to get big force limits in Europe here. It's going to be quite a little uh, series of wars we're going to have here. Quick war update. We have not found any resistance from the Ottoman armies at all. In fact, we've been able to pe take people out and uh, siege some of these islands. They're not just, they're not, not even doing anything. Well, I guess Tunis is over here dealing with Spain. Um, but the Ottomans have not showed up. It's probably because they're over in Ajam uh, over here. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. So we're going to kind of try to take advantage of this and get some sieges going. Um, we've taken basically everything we want to take over here in Europe. And these are going to be the ones we're going to get from the provinces here. We also need to try to get Byzantium, their claims over here. We want to get them over into this region because they do have a mission tree uh, that involves taking Asia Minor and get a bunch of claims in this region. We're going to make them very strong. They're going to be probably our strongest vassal. Uh, 
because we can just guarantee we're going to keep them and not inherit them. Plus, they're going to be a march. Um, and I think if we do go down the HRE path, that will be quite good. We do want to go. I think we'd go for Voltaire's Nightmare. I've thought about it. Um, my war with, that I'm going to have with France, I think I'm going to try to break them up as much as possible instead of take land. And then I'll... Or what I could do is I could just... Okay. What is the point where you don't get relationship slots? This one. If we get that one, I can just release subjects and have a bunch of vassals in the HRE. Um, and that would be good as well. I could do it with all these guys in this region. Thinking about that um, could be useful, but that's way, way off. I still need to go and get through our, our reforms and things. But this war is going very well. Um, who wants unlawful territory? Go ahead and give me return. Uh, okay, never mind. I'll have to go and get that back some other way. Uh, but we're going to keep fighting through this. Uh, don't expect it to be too crazy here. We'll probably have some war, some uh, battles pop up. Uh, but maybe we can sneak through and get this before the Ottomans get all over here. Um, but I'll bring you guys back with another update. Real quick, we've got a good battle coming our way. We just got lucky and sieged this fort right as this Ottoman army is coming in. So we should have a defensive engagement in the mountains. We have a three-star general coming to reinforce. And this siege is not too far away over here. Um, so we should get a good engagement on this. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Okay, we have the morale advantage and the discipline advantage, and we're about even with tactics. They have the Lucky Nation stuff, I think. Not sure. They have minus three. Here comes our reinforcement. They are getting better rolls than us. But there we go. So they lose 18k. Not terrible there. That's a good chunk of their manpower all gone. And we can keep on marching our armies up here. We are sieging down all the forts here. It looks like we have... Uh, some armies coming to siege this fort down, but we do have our Polish army. Maybe they'll try to take a fight here and we can get them out here. But maybe I take one of my... There's Trebzond. All right, let's try to take a fight over here with the Polish army. Uh, hopefully they will come and support us. Spain's over here sieging. Uh, here is the piece that we're going to go for. It's going to kick them all the way out of Greece. We're going to take everything involved. We're going to get another straight crossing for Byzantium. We're also going to take the, two prov the three provinces that Lithuania has claims on. I'm not sure if they have a mission tree uh, for that. I could give them some stuff. There's all these things over here. I haven't looked at their mission trees. I've been kind of slacking on supporting my subjects there, but that's something else we can do. Um, but right now, it's all about uh, just sieging deep. I think they got out of their other war, so now we should have the full brunt of the Ottomans against us. Uh, but they do have quite a little bit of manpower. They have more than us, but we also are replenishing 2,000 a month, which is substantial, to say the least. Uh, but the swarm keeps swarming. Outnumber them about 2 to 1, maybe 3 to 1 on the infantry front there alone. And then artillery, we way out on number them because I prioritize artillery probably more than I should, uh, to be honest. But we're just going to keep rolling here. There goes Azerbaij Azerbaijan. Uh, let's keep this army actually going forward. Let's go down here a little bit closer. We're knocking out all the forts that they have. Looks like Poland's army is getting uppity. There goes a military leader. That's the really good siege general I had. Let's get another one. One siege is kind of meh, but we'll keep it because he's really good at maneuver and fire and fire at this point in the game is king here comes another fight for us let's see poland's getting in there first got lithuania on their side poland's not as good as we are but then here we go with our morale will help them and we killed off a general there too i believe there's also this 34k stack army that's going to come and uh, get rid of the spanish which is not ideal we'll come and take that siege over uh this army we're going to go and put them in, in kuzin 100k troops left. There goes that Spanish army. How is Spain faring over here in the uh, African, North African states? They're just sieging Tapilalt, as they do. Tunis is still around doing their things. Tunis is allied to Mamluks and Ottomans. You're playing both sides, I see. Smart on you, Tunis. We are getting close to getting our next idea group, and I'm kind of debating. On one hand, we can go influence ideas. We're going to have a lot of vassals, and so having influence ideas makes them better. Uh, and gives us more stuff from the vassals. The other one is to go for quality and just make our armies into uh, space marines. I'm not sure yet. I think we'll kind of see where we're at in monarch points. Um, who are we, we're generating even from both. So that doesn't fucking help me at all. So we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see here. Let's also improve this guy up to level five. Keep the five viruses across the board. And we're just going to keep sieging. I don't think there's too much here. Let's... Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's make sure, I don't want to make sure I don't want to lose any of these things that we're getting because uh, 
the DC. I had to transfer all this stuff to my vassals to make it all work. In fact, let's go ahead and give this to Byzantium and make sure that is giving over to them. Please. There we go. There's our peace deal. Uh, you're taking a bad fight. I want you to not do that. There goes the siege for us. Can I get one of these armies stuck? There's a lot of troops marching through here. That's 16k in just troops that we just stack wipe. We have people sieging our forts up here. This army over here is fighting. We do win that. I think yep, cannons in the front line for them. Small stack wipes. We find individual armies. Hungary's going to go siege that fort. Let's get our reinforcements over in this region. I hope this 41k doesn't try to engage us. Is this a mountain? No, it's dry lands. Okay, we can go reinforce this mountain with Lithuania. That should be fine. We'll let our vassals take that out. We're going to mirror this 40k stack and make sure they don't have any plans of uh, causing us problems. Let's see how Lithuania stacks up against the Ottomans. They have way, way bad manpower. Are you behind in tech? Tech 14. Yeah, they're on tech. I don't know why they're bad. Did you not take any military ideas? You have quality. I guess they're just aren't uh, up to snuff with uh, some of the people. You do still win, though, because the mountains are good. We'll come back. All right, I think we've kind of have this all handled now. It just becomes a matter of sieging down these forts as we encounter them. And we've kind of dealt with uh, the Turks. They still have numbers, um, but to, if we keep two of our armies in the same area, we can match them. And a lot of their armies need to replenish now. So we've got them on the run. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. And I'll bring you guys back once we can peace out of this war. All right, it's just about time to get us out of this war here. We have like one or two months until Tunis drops into low. One more month and they should be gone. We've sieged up all the Ottoman lands. They are basically full occupied. Except for this one fort they just desieged. But uh, Bohemia's, or Tunis is gone in one month. They've actually were able to take on Spain pretty fairly. Like they 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 messed up Spain. Uh, it was kind of embarrassing, I think. How is Scotland doing? Do they still have Oh they have a De, they have a De Valoy. They also have an heir with this current De Valois. Okay. So not gonna have our little event where we get to defend against the um, what's the face? The, 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 the French. Goddamn. I can't, can't think today. Can't think. Um, Tunis, get out, please. You have no reason to stay in this. I just need someone to, to step on one of your provinces. There we go. Okay, Tunis is gone. Bam. Declare that. Get another claim on the French, because we can. Uh, pull back from France. We are not going to use our spy networks there. I want to get all my armies out of here. Five days, declare, 152 aggressive expansion, coalition between the Mamluks, the Ottomans, and Tunis. Don't care about any of those guys. Byzantium is big now. We've kicked the Ottomans basically out of the world. Uh, we get 50 power rejection. I don't think that's permanent. Is it permanent? Why is none of the stuff that Bohemia gets permanent? That's crazy. You get permanent power projection in other places, but for kicking the Ottomans out of Europe, you'd only get temporary power projection. That's and temporary claims to do it. I had to claim all this land individually. It sucks. Anyway, we could be a lot stronger as this nation if we had that kind of stuff. But, oh well. Um, what do we do now? Well, at the core of the provinces I took, there's like three of them. We took the, uh, the bosnia Herzegovina stuff. I had to turn my forts off because it's expensive to run forts uh, when you upgrade them to tier two. And we, since we're doing our monopolies to get our mercantilism up, uh, it gets a little bit rough. We want to try to get mercantilism up to 100. Then I can turn my monopolies up and just roll in the dosh. It'll be quite good once we can get that all set up. Seize the state land. Call our armies back. Actually, our armies are already all back. We have them sitting here chilling. Um, and now we just sit. Can I attack you? Okay, you still will be defended by the Ottomans, despite the fact that we are in a... Do I just do it? Do I just do it? Alternatively, fight this guy. Call Spain in. Would Spain defend you? Spain would defend. One reason for Spain to defend. We fight France. Take their stuff. Take all of this stuff. What's the navy look like? So you have 63. We have Polish navy. What about Byzantine navy? No, non-existent Byzantine navy. We might have naval advantage here. I want to try to get into um, what is the the lands of 
Scotland to get our last mission done and then call this episode there. We're at 100. We're at an hour. Uh, I think I'll put a cut in here. Um, we've done a ton. We've kicked the Ottomans out of Europe. We have inherited Brandenburg and, or, or Burgundy. And we're now positioned in a place where we can go and make a play for Scotland to get the pale. Rasa won the religious war. We became the emperor. So a lot of stuff done in this just one episode. We need to clean up the HRE a little bit more. We have a little bit of reformed uh, people all spread out here. I need to kind of convert some of these guys. What's our list of people to become reformed or, or Protestant from reformed? Feels like it's grown. Did Corsica join us? Corsica did join us. Okay, there's a lot of also little non HRE controlled lands here. We are getting Imperial authority. It's growing by quite a bit here. I think uh, it's because there's a peace internally. But if you get rid of the heretic princes, that's plus 0.8. Save the provinces. Okay. Okay, we'll work on some of that. But for now, I'm going to call some here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean's Blue Screeners, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.